Hello and welcome to the mobile studio of Silkway TV channel. My name is Daurian Sogulov. And I'm Baljan Samigulina. Greetings from the World Nomad Games 2024 Sidelands. First time taking place in the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana. More than 2,000 athletes have arrived from over 80 countries. And now we have two guests from Romania and USA. And both of them are uh, athletes uh, in sports related to the horses, but in different styles, in different manners. So we've got uh, Mr. Chongi from Romania. He represents the Romanian team uh, of the horseback, for horseback archery. archery. archery yes. right. And Mr. Nick Villard, who represents the national team uh, in Cop Kokpar. Yes. Kokpar, uh, Kokpuru United, and yes. horseback wrestling. Yes, yes, of the United States of America. Yes, and let me refer the first question to our first guest from uh, Romania. Today there have been already competitions on horseback archery. What's your strategy on this game and for how long have you been engaged in this ethnic sports, please? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to tell what's my strate strategy. I came, I came here just to, to have fun or I don't know. My, my, uh, I want to feel good, so I, I don't want to win because I, I have no chance chance with the Mongols or the Kazakhs, but I really like it. I like this place, the horses. I feel good. I feel good. So that, that's my strategy, to feel good. What would you say on that? Uh, how do you find the atmosphere on World Nomad Games 2024? And how have you been, uh, how your place here are be going on so far? I mean, cowboy, uh, a real American cowboy is now riding Kazakh horse. How, how does it feel like? Uh, it feels incredible. I have I have been waiting to come here since 2018 when we did mm. the Nomad Games in, in Kazakhstan. In and Kyrgyz Republic. Or Kyrgyzstan, yes. Right. And I have been uh -huh. wanting to come to Kazakhstan since then. Uh, I've been just desperately wanting to come here. I, I find this country extremely fascinating, the culture fascinating. So it holds, now that I'm here, it, it's really taken hold of my soul and I, it holds a deep place in my heart now. I, I've enjoyed every little bit of it. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Chongi, can you please tell us about your uh, background? How, first of all, how popular is uh, horseback archery in Romania and how did you start to compete in this discipline? Okay, so it, now it starts to get popular in Romania, the horseback archery. I, I can say now it's really good in Romania. So we have a lot of horseback archers in Romania. And I started uh, with horse riding, uh, I don't know, five years ago, and with uh, trick riding and doing some stunts with the horses. And I started uh, shooting with the bow three years ago and horseback archery three years ago. So, and I'm competing also. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Mr. Willard, please tell us about uh, Kokpar, how did you find this sport? I guess it's not quite popular in in the US, but maybe you've got some similar similar sports or. Oh, no, we don't. Uh, <laughs> yes. I was a I'm a retired professional MMA fighter, so oh. I fought mm. uh, pro MMA for about ten years, and before that, I was a professional skier. Um, I grew up on a horse ranch in Wyoming, and so when the team we formed the team in 2016 and they needed somebody as a defenseman to help block and who knows how to fight. Uh, and so I, I jumped at the chance. And, and then when I arrived in Kyrgyzstan to compete in 2018, that's when I discovered uh, horseback wrestling. And so I knew I had to play all three sports. Um, I, I just love them. We don't have, there's currently only eight Coke Par players in America. And there is one horseback wrestler in America, that's me. From which state are you? I'm from California. Ah, uh, I see. So it's not a cowboy area that much, right? It's a very much a cowboy area, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it has the largest percentage of steer wrestlers, and it's a large, it's, it's very large for the rodeo. So, but it doesn't sound, usually people don't think of, of cowboys when they think of California. Yeah. But inland of Cali, and I grew up in Wyoming. So that's where I grew up. And I grew up on a horse ranch in Wyoming, cowboying, but I moved to California after the United States Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you. And Mr. Chongi, you mentioned that uh, now horseback, right, horseback archery is getting more and more popular in Romania. Can we expect, now we have four styles of these sports at World Nomad Games. Can we expect that, you know, Romanian style of, <laughs> of this uh, game will Romanian appear? style? Romanian style of horseback I, I don't th I don't think archery. so. so Mostly we are competing in the Hungarian style and we like it. I think it's, it's, good. it's good for us. So we don't want to uh, 
uh, make another style. We want to get better in this kind of stylist. So I think we don't we don't need a lot of styles. We need just a few styles, and everybody has to because I I I have no idea what we can do. So. In the Hungarian style, you have to uh, shoot at the front, at the side, at the back. In the Turkish, you have to shoot to the air, so I think to the ground. So I think uh, uh, everything is covered already. So we don't want to make another style yet, or who knows. But we, we really like the Hungarian style, and mostly we are competing in the Hungarian style and original Kashi tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Willer, may, may I ask you this question? I guess. Uh, it wasn't uh, possible to bring your own horse to Kazakhstan. So please tell us, how did you um, get used to, to new horses here in Kazakhstan? Was it hard? Was it difficult? And how do, do they differ in general? Maybe uh, they, they do different. Uh, they are very different in, mm, in general. Yeah. The saddles are different as well. Um, so there's a lot of differences in the saddles and everything. But uh, Kazakhstan has provided our horses. Mm -hmm. And when we arrived here, the Kazakhs have been incredible. And they've given us incredible horses. And they know how to they know how to train horses mm -hmm. better than anybody else I've seen. So when we get on the horse, that horse knows exactly what its job is in Kokpar. So mm -hmm. it's been it's been a pleasure to get on the horse here because they they're they're just an incredible animal. Mm -hmm. And what was your experience with our horses? <laughs> I said also these kind of horses are different from our horses, but uh, I like them. I. I think they are really smart horses and really stable, so they don't get afraid really, really easy. So they're really good horses. I liked to ride with them, and they are really kind to the to the humans. So if you if you ask something so to go fast, they go fast. So if you ask to go slow, they can go slow. So I like I like them. They are really good horses. Yeah, they are friends. So, so my general question to both of you, gentlemen, uh, what are your preliminary results at this World Nomad Games, and what's your goal in general for this Olympics? Let's say it's kind of Olympics. Olympics. Yeah, Nomadic Very Olympics. Much. Thank you. Okay, I, this is my first time on the World Nomad Games. Yeah. So basically, I said my my goal is to to have fun, to feel good, but I don't know in the future. Probably I want to get a medal or something in the next in two next, years yeah. in two years yes yes I came here to look how it how it how it goes and everything next time I want to win <laughs> <laughs> so in two years we'll be taken into the, from the winner of horseback uh, archery okay. world nomad games 2026 and uh, we are an incredible underdog in this in, in Kokpar, we are the huge underdog. We, we are not able to get together in the States to train. Ah. So our only time to be able to play the game is when we come over here. And so one of our goals is to bring Kokpar to America. And that's what we're really trying to work mm. on. And we're trying to let people know about how incredible the World Nomad Games is, how incredible Kokpar is, and just how incredible the culture is here. So when we come here, we know we're not gonna do, we're, we, we know we're not gonna win, but we absolutely love the game. I love horseback wrestling, so it's every time I'm doing it, I'm having a blast and I'm having a great time. So that that's what matters most to me. What I expected from the video that we have seen on the um, U.S. Embassy in Astana uh, social pages, I thought that this team is gonna win. I mean, it was very you know, phenomenal. But uh, I think uh, all the best are still uh, expected. Oh yeah. Yes, it's true. And Mr. Chungi, what is your expectation of this game? What do you want to uh, take out as an experience from this event in Kazakhstan? And taking, uh, yes, uh, our conversation into conclusion, what are you taking from here, not only from, uh, you know, as, as a sportsman, as an athlete, yes. but maybe in cultural way, because these World Nomad Games are also uniting the cultures. And now we have seen that yes. 89 countries are gathered here. It's uh, kind of record. I, I learned a lot from the Asian people and from the, from the people of Kazakhstan. I think they are more kind, more friendly than people on, on, on the West. And I, I want to uh, learn this and uh, take home this kind of uh, culture, to be kind to everybody, to, to give gifts. So I really like the people of Kazakhstan because they are, they are different and different in a better way. So I like them. Thank you so much. Uh, every time I come back here now, especially now that I'm in Kazakhstan, it's going to be very hard for me to leave, and I don't want to leave. So when the games are over, I, I would like to stay. If I could <laughs> stay here, I would. It's it's 
someone gives me that opportunity, I'm staying. I, I have fallen in love with this country and I'll fall in love with the people in Kazakhstan. I just think it's an incredible place. I can't wait to come back. So I'm either going to try to stay here and just miss my flight back home or come right back. So you mentioned some hopes. Can I say that maybe in a few years there will be a community who will be engaged in Kokpar in the United States of America? Are you going to already make particular steps? That's where we have already taken those steps and we are trying to this is one of the steps that we are mm -hmm. taking is coming here and bringing and, and showing people that, you know, how incredible it is. So once we get back, we're going to keep on recruiting more players and just keep trying to spread the word. It's, it's what our main goal is right now. Thank you very much. We will keep broadcasting from World Nomad Games 2024. And uh, today it's been me, Baljan Samigulina. And Aurena Sogulov. Stay tuned and see you later.